www.wingam.com. Yes, we are. And boy, do we have a lot of news and a lot to go over. How was so, your week? I'll tell you what, it's been uh, slightly stressful, but pretty good. <laughs> good, good, good. And how was yours? Is the baby sleeping you want to tonight? Come? Almost. Almost. Yeah, no, the baby's had, sick. Uh, the baby's got a little bit of a uh, gas problem right now. Oh, and that's <laughs> nice to bring up on the radio. <laughs> right couldn't at dinner just, time. Yeah, couldn't you just say sick and leave no, it at but, that? You know, she's doing fine, but uh, the mom is taking great care of her. So oh, I know she is. Job, so. Not a doubt. Are you going to give her a shout? Does she listen? She, uh, occasionally she does. Okay, well, she should. I you know, know she, she really... She's one of those uh, uh, Monday night widows when it comes to wrestling. She kind of oh. goes off and watches her suddenly Susan or whatever. It gives her and I a chance to bond while you're watching wrestling. Exactly. Yes. Well, actually, though, Hope stayed with me on Monday night. Good. Lay, we lay in the that. arms. Didn't cry, watched the wrestling, enjoyed it. Except when I flipped over the nitro, then she wind a little Break bit. Break them in early. How, how many minutes was that? One minute till the night first WCW slam? Wow, that was... I, 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 I wanted to, want to get it off the chest quick. I wanted to get it off the chest quick. So let's get into the news, shall we? Do it. Let's do it. And the big story right now everybody is talking about is kind of the mutiny on the bounty in the World Championship Wrestling locker room. If you don't like it, leave. That is what Eric Bischoff told the wrestlers before Nitro this past Monday. He held a closed-door meeting backstage with all of the wrestlers, said basically he was sick of the attitude. He specifically pointed out Conan, the public enemy, Raven, Rey Mysterio Jr., and Buff Bagwell. Man, all the stars. As having, as having, bad, as having bad attitudes contributed those attitudes to the decline of the company and said if anybody wanted their release, they would be happy to give them their walking papers. At this point, in the middle of the meeting, who do you think got up and walked out? I know, but I want you to say it. Raven. Uh, and Raven, we talked about it last week, has been very vocal. He was on uh, Strictly ECW's website with a Tom Misnick interview. He was on the Man Cow radio show putting down WCW. He got up, walked out of the room. After the meeting, a lot of the guys hit the pay phones and the cell phones to call their agents. Their agents were on the hotline. After Nitro went off the air, Billy Kidman approached Eric Bischoff back in the hotel and said that he, too, was interested in leaving. Eric tried to talk him out of it. Billy said no. Um, Eric said, fine, when we get back to Las Vegas, you'll get your release. Uh, since Monday, Conan and Rey Mysterio Jr. have also requested to be released from WCW. Now, the one thing is, don't think that all of these guys are going to be running to the World Wrestling Federation. These are conditional releases, okay? Which means, number one, the early report was that they could work for anybody in the United States they wanted to, with the exception of the World Wrestling Federation, Correct. from anywhere from six months to a year. However, now the report is that Eric Bischoff is looking at putting more restrictions onto these releases, including possibly not working anywhere for 90 days, and also possibly saying that they cannot work for ECW either. Well, let's face it. Everybody has said that uh, given the right release that they would negotiate with these individuals. Right. But, you know, Bischoff is a smart businessman. He's not going to turn even, you know, maybe they're not the superstars, but he's not going to turn a third of his talent away to other federations. Well, we talked with uh, some people in the WWF, and they said that if we get a letter saying that these guys have their conditional, re an unconditional release and we're welcome to negotiate with them, we'd be more than interested to bring them in. But until we get uh, something final from WCW saying that, you know, there's really nothing to say. And, um, you know, you can credit Bob Ryder and Dave Shear from OneWrestling.com for breaking this story. But it is all over the place. Well, I'll tell you what. We broke, though. We went down to the Brian Hildebrand Tournament in Pittsburgh, or tournament, rather, the fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we mentioned two weeks ago when we got back was that the WCW was there, WWF, intermingling uh, something similar to what you have here in the Cincinnati for the, uh, for the tournament or the fundraiser here. And the WCW individuals, and Bill Kidman was there, mm -hmm. were outspoken in their feelings about how negative and, and the direction of WCW wrestling and the handling of the company. Every one of them, Dean Malenko, Bill Kidman, Chris Benoit, Benoit uh, it, was, it was one after another, and it continued, and I think that's, you know, you can see where they're picking at. They're not picking at the gray hairs, uh, so right. to speak. Uh, you know, they're going after the guys that they feel that they could potentially lose, but I don't agree with that. And I, I don't know about you, but I well, just don't see it. Well, you, you know, these are the guys, I think Eric Bischoff thought that there was no way that the, he thought he was going to get in these guys' faces and they would sit down and take it. And instead, they got up and walked out. And it says a lot whenever these guys are getting paid very, very well. And they say, hey, you know what? We're sick of it. There's a uh, joke that goes on backstage in the WCW locker rooms. Don't ma don't screw with the ATM machine. A lot of people call the Turner is called the ATM machine. They get the money keeps coming, 
And uh, so it looks like that WCW, if uh, Eric Bischoff lives up to his word by saying he would release anybody that wanted to go, will be losing a lot of the young talent. And uh, let's see, who have, what other young talent did they release? Uh, Steve Austin? Yes. Uh, Chris Jericho? Well, um, if you look, a lot of comparisons to how the uh, the rise, and, and it's only been a few weeks, but how Jericho has been handled since moving over to the WWF. Right. You know, going right in, and, and we're not going to spoil anything, but you will see Jericho very soon. And uh, the way some of these individuals and Jericho had been handled in the WCW. And another guy on the uh, verge you know, of a contract, uh, I guess, uh, controversy with WCW is Buff Bagwell. He has five months left on his deal. Uh, he was pointed out in this meeting as having a bad attitude. Uh, he got into a fight after uh, Road Wild with Ernest the Cat Miller, which didn't set too well with the WCW management. And a lot of people feel his ego has been getting a little out of control. And uh, he has made some inquiries into the WCW. WWF. There hasn't been the that uh, we don't know, but uh, let's just say that uh, it could be very interesting to see how this all plays out. And Along with the Ultimate Warrior, right? Uh, of course. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Speaking of uh, contracts, the Dudley Boys have agreed to a contract with the World Wrestling Federation. All the I's will be dotted and the T's will be crossed sometime this week, hopefully. But they could debut as early as this Monday. Well, we... Uh, okay. They could. They could. They gave us a call the other day, and it was kind of funny because we're like, what's going on? Are you in? Are you out? What the hell are you doing? Mm -hmm. And, you know, what they said there were about, and, and we're going to break this, about 48 hours away from signing a contract. Right. The other thing they broke was that, and everybody knows this, this has been on the uh, Internet for quite a while, that the Queen show is going to be the last show. And they said it's no holds barred. Anything that can happen and is going to happen. That is going to be a wild show tomorrow night in Queens. It's, it's the uh, second of the TNN tapings, and uh, all H-E-L-L -L is going to break loose. I wonder how night. much of that will make TV. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I think you're going to have to get the home video to see uh, exactly what goes on with that. Uh, in ratings news, as uh, Marty is being paged as we speak, Marty, you want to go take that? Uh, I mean, we're only know. doing a radio show here. Go ahead. You can go. Go take your personal call. Go ahead. No, that's okay. Go ahead. No, you go. You go. I got it. It's just okay. a radio show. Okay, go ahead. Ratings for this week, as if you need to know, WWF blasted WCW out of the water. Uh, Raw did a 5-7 rating with an 8-9 share off of hours of 5-6 and 5-7. Nitro, a 2-9 rating with a 4-7 share off of hours of 3-3, 2-7, and 2-8. The KISS experiment for WCW bombed miserably. And the overrun, uh, Nitro had a 2-3, which was when KISS was on, as opposed to a 6-4 during the Mankind Triple H World Title match. So any hope that WCW had for uh, KISS helping them out, it failed, and it failed miserably. I'd like to get your thoughts on the whole KISS debacle, too, tonight. And if you want to give us a call, 457-WING, and we'll get to your phone calls in just a minute. As Marty mentioned earlier, SmackDown debuts tomorrow night on UPN, and if you're lucky enough locally to have cable, you can watch that on the Miami Valley Channel. Do you have to have cable? You have to have cable. Can you get it in Middletown? <laughs> you can't get it in Middletown. <laughs> right. uh, but you can, some of the matches you're going to see tomorrow night include Mark Henry against Val Venus, Jeff Jarrett, Billy Gunn, Chris Jericho makes his in-ring debut against the Road Dog, hardcore title match between Al Snow and the Big Boss Man, and you're also going to see Triple H defend the title against The Rock. Hot That's, show, It man. is going to be a very hot show. You're also going to see uh, the debut of the sit-down interview the British Bulldog had with Jim Ross, and this is going to be one great interview. Uh, in, the, in his Calgary Sun column this, this past uh, Sunday, Bret Hart basically ripped the Bulldog up one side and down another, and the Hart family has a lot of animosity right now to uh, Davy Boy for going back to the WWF, but uh, Davy Boy... He's his own man. His best success has Once always again, been. He did what he had to do for him and his family and his decision. And let's not forget, WCW released him after his injuries. I mean, the guy has to make a paycheck. Absolutely. I so, agree with him 100%. Stone Cold Steve Austin is going to take an extended period of time off, recovering from his knee injury. Is and he ever going to wrestle while he's off? We don't know. Or be there? Or she whatever could be. she does. She could be. Uh, he's also going to be filming five episodes of Nash Bridges. The first of those episodes will be on CBS October the 29th, so mark your calendar. And also you're going to be able to see Steve as one of the presenters at the MTV Video Music Awards September 9th. Mainstream, baby. Wrestling. He is all the way. And for those of you who are wondering about uh, Taz and his contract, Contract situation with ECW. The Nashville Network went to uh, the well, so to speak.
technique. They went to the money machine. They went to the money machine. They knew that he was the top draw in the ECW. He was crucial to the success of the show. So Brad Small, who is uh, Taz's attorney, negotiated a seven-figure deal. He said that both WCW and WWF both made aggressive bids for Taz's service, but ECW sweetened its offer because they didn't want to lose their most colorful star. And I have to agree. I think Taz has been a loyal employee. He's stuck around. Uh, he definitely could have made the move, but I think it was to his benefit and ECW's benefit, and they did what they had to do, which is uh, belly up to the table and uh, bring me the money, baby. Exactly. And also, Jesse the Body Ventura could be back in the WWF yet again. God, the guy loves to be criticized. He is, he is talking right now about being another a special guest referee at WrestleMania 2000. He'd love it. That would be absolutely what a media great. Media. I was going to vote for him for president, but I don't know. Did now. a great job, although on Sunday night. Yes, he did. That was very entertaining. I almost, almost broke Steve Austin's neck. I don't know if you saw that or not. I slept through the first <laughs> one, but I caught most of the second one. But uh, Jesse did a great job, and so come WrestleMania 2000, you could see him back in the ring again. Hey, did you see Blue Meanie? Yes, I did. Man, I'm telling you what, Meanie's looking good, yeah, buddy. Meanie's looking I mean, he's no Buff Bagwell, but uh, <laughs> let's face it. But then again, who is Buff Bagwell? Yeah, good exactly. Point. Hey, by the way, you're in trouble tonight. Why? Because I told you not to give out that phone number to Wes D's cardiovascular oh, kickboxing. Please. He's coming in here. He said he's coming in looking for you. That's fine. You, but you know what? I'm trying to help out the people that want to get in shape. That's well, all I'll I'm I'll tell you what. Do. All you got to do is watch it and take a look <laughs> at Blue Meanie. And I'll tell you what. We, there should be a lineup marching over. But West East says he's coming in here looking for you. Well, because you're the one who gave the number out. I you gave the number out. No. So it wasn't I'm sorry. me. You know what? I'm going to do it again. Number is uh, <laughs> four seven eight fifty four fifty one or seven four eight eighteen seventeen. Put you in one of them Croatian chokeholds or something. And he, you've had he's it, on man. your side of the table tonight. Not hardly. Also, we're going to take a break here in a moment. But when we come back, we're going to talk to one of the stars of UCW, who's in a little bit of controversy right now. Uh, the wife beater. And in case I never did like that name. Well, in case you've missed this story, he wrestled on a show uh, in Wisconsin last Friday. I think this was last Friday. And uh, there were some protests about... Did he wrestle or did they ask him not to wrestle? They asked him to change his name according to the report. He refused to, and so he was pulled off the card. Um, so we're going to bring him on. In case you missed it, he was on... Uh, he wasn't actually on there, but this was talked about on the ABC show Politically Incorrect with Bill Maher. This was one of the subjects brought up. I've heard uh, Geraldo picked up Geraldo on it. Geraldo picked up on it, yeah. You know, so we're other... going to bring him on uh, after the break to talk about his side of the story. And also, tonight, we're going to debut something. Yes, we are. And finally, I told you to tell him about it a few weeks ago, but no, not you. If you want to hear the wrestling guys every single day, and let's face it, who, do, who wouldn't want to listen to Everybody, us every day? Dayton every day. wants to know. Stay on the... Keep, keep it here, and after the break, we're going to let you know how you can listen to us every single day. How? Tell me. I can't. Was well, it wait, break time the, already? We're going to go to a break. When we come back, we're going to talk to not only the wife beater, but the love man's going to be on the phone. The who? The love man. And we want, to, love, we want to take your calls, too. 457-WING. You are listening to The Wrestling Guys with Marty Adams and Sean Stidham. Up in Joel Gertner, and I'm on The Wrestling Guys with Marty. Look in my pants, and you'll find the party Adams and Sean. Those girls over there, I just did them. Stid them on 1410 Wing. So keep listening and have yourself an eargasm. Okay. You blush every time. I'll tell you what. <laughs> hey, you're back with the wrestling guys at 1410 Wing AM. Uh, we're taking your calls right now. We've got some uh, special guests right here in the studio. You're in trouble, man. Well, you know, we had a Joel Gertner, by the way, in case you forgot, ECW debuts on TNN Friday night, 8 o'clock. Joel Gertner is going to be one of the announcers on that show. Good place for him. It's a great place for him. And it's a good him. thing. No cussing. Uh, nothing to do bad with ladies. You know, they're going to really clean it up, and Joe Gertner needs it after those types of statements. And also, though, one thing that was going to disappoint a lot of the ECW fans, one thing I heard that they cannot do on the TNN show is no barbed wire. Yeah, but they can bleed. They can bleed. Bleed. <laughs> Blood is fine. Just don't bring out the barbed wire. No barbed wire. No barbed wire. Okay. okay. Uh, what we were talking about before we went into the break is... Uh, UCW's one of the best guys out of UCW, the wife beater. Uh, he wrestled uh, in Wisconsin over the weekend. He was scheduled, he was to, wrestle scheduled to wrestle. But uh, once some uh, local group that works with Battle Women found out his name, uh, they went to the promoter, Joseph Knight, and decided uh, to complain. The, the league, the World All, Profession All Pro Wrestling League, 
scheduled its first event in the area for Friday. Uh, the card featured Jake the Snake Roberts, a lot of other guys. But um, when Hubert called for when the uh, I got this all screwed up here, don't I? Let me take over. Down a little bit. No, no, no. You're, oh, you're okay. okay. You're okay. You're Alice Hubert news? is the executive director of Platteville, Wisconsin's Family Advocates. Yeah, there's she, four uh, members. She requested that the wrestler simply change his name. If he's going to wrestle under a more appropriate name than Wife Beater, then I don't have a problem with people attending the event, who's or said Hubert, whose organization assists battered women in the area. What we're hoping is that he's not changing his name just for this event, that he understands why our community and probably every, every other community would be upset about this name. Uh, the promoter asked Chris, Wife Beater, about changing his name, but he refused. Um, and then... have the wife beater from UCW. Hey, how you doing, guy? Hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Chris. How's it going, buddy? Doing very bad, well. Buddy. Thanks for having me on the show. I appreciate it. No problem. You know, uh, we were talking earlier, and they say no press is bad press, and you're on uh, Politically Incorrect. You're on Geraldo. You're making the rounds, buddy. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty great. I mean, <laughs> I know it's not really all positive, but hey, I mean, um, all this publicity, you know, these are just people that wouldn't know me if it weren't for the press. You know? Now, what happened? Give us your side of the story. We're hearing, you know, we read the report about, uh, you know, the side from the promoter and the advocate group. Give us your side. Actually, there was a show in Platteville, Wisconsin, correct? Right. And for, for World, World All Pro Wrestling. And a couple months before, they started sending out some little advertisements on the radio and television. And a couple groups, I mean, got a hold of the name Wife Beater, and they didn't really... Didn't really care for it too much, so um, they got a hold of the promoter and told him, asked that I'd be taken off the show or change my name or whatever. But um, actually, some of the reports said that I refused to change my name or whatever, and that's really not true. I mean, they, I was never talked to by anybody in the media, so. So they just pulled you off the show? Uh, no, actually, I changed my name for the show. I actually, if you know, I have a, I have two separate gimmicks. I work as Chris Hero and a couple other promotions too. So right. that's like my good guy gimmick. So, so you did change your name and you did wrestle on the show? Yeah, I did wrestle on the show. And, and it was kind of funny because there were still people at the show like holding up wife beater signs. And <laughs> well, you know, Chris, uh, we talked about this before, and a lot of people we've talked to around the industry think that for you to actually make it and to move to that next step, you're going to have to either change your name or change your gimmick. And I'm sure you've heard these, have heard these criticisms too, the opinions of others. And what's your take on all that? Well, I understand that. I mean... Mm -hmm everybody's going to eventually have to change their name. You know what I mean? Right. It just, it just goes along with developing yourself as a professional wrestler. Um, but actually, I, I, think, I think this is actually done pretty well for me right now because, like I said earlier, if it, if it wasn't for the name, I mean, if my name was Bill Smith, I don't think uh, I would have been talked about on Politically Incorrect, you know? Right. And, and it's, it's kind of an eye-catcher, the name, you know? So once people actually see me in action, if I do a good job, you know, it'll stick out in their mind. So... Well, hey, Chris, let's, let's, let's clear up a few things. One, Chris is, how old are you, Chris? Nineteen. Okay, Chris is nineteen. Chris, you're not married. Not married. Okay, man. Uh, first time I saw you, I thought you, you did a tremendous job. You and I have been pretty good friends since then. <laughs> Probably the second time I saw you work, I said, Chris, you got to change that name, man. <laughs> and, yeah. and we talked about trying to come up with something else. Mm -hmm. But the bottom line is, is that, he's, you know, you're a very personable young man, 19 years old, Definitely not married, not beating any wives. Um, and you know today, I mean, you look at what's happened with the collegiate teams, the Miami Redskins, you know, you got to change that because the Indians are upset. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure that Al Snow's going to hear something because <laughs> Pepper got thrown across the room and has been kidnapped. <laughs> uh, there, it's a lot that happens. But the bottom line is, is that from everybody else's perception, you are a very talented young man with a lot of opportunity to move upward. This is something that may have got you some initial recognition, but your skills are what's going to take you to the top. Oh, not, not I, yeah, I completely understand that. I'm just, you know, I'm just taking things by ear now, you know? I mean, <laughs> when it comes time to completely change my gimmick, you know, um, I've got things set up, you know? And it's kind of been a joke based on just the way you come out and wrestle in the attire. With yeah, the it's, it was actually just a... It sounds kind of dumb, but it was just a T-shirt gimmick to begin with, you know? Right. Kind of a fad. And the fans really picked up on it. I know you've seen people at the shows wearing wife beaters, so... And it's kind of uh, the same outfit Billy Kidman wears normally. Well, yeah, it's kind of kind of funny. I actually started wearing that back in uh, late September of last year. Uh -huh. And that was when he was still wearing the old grungy flock outfit. 
Right. But it's, it's not really a big deal. So so Kidman got that from you then, how about uh, he, he Probably didn't get it from me, but you know how that goes. Hey, we hear you. Chris, hey, go ahead. No, I insist you you go. No, no Chris, really. Chris, you yeah. want to say something? Um <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, uh, we, I know you're going to be on the show September 4th at the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. And one thing that I think is absolutely, you have one of the best websites I've seen oh, your website's for hot, wrestlers. Man. So give out that address so everybody can check out the latest on what's going on in your career. Okay, the web address is http members.tripod.com slash capital B E A T E R capital W I F E. And it's absolutely an outstanding website. So if you want to follow the career of the great WB, uh, go to the website. And you can find out all there is to know about him. And let us tell you that if you haven't seen this guy wrestle, don't worry about the name. Worry about the individual. He's top shelf. Uh, he could be whatever he wants to be, but he's a hell of a talent. Get there to the Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Uh, what day is it? September 4th? September 4th. Chris, you in both shows? Uh, yes, sir. And I'll tell you what, you're going to be uh, pleased with what you're going to see from, I'll call you High Flying for right now. <laughs> That's good to me. All Chris right, Hero. Man. Yeah, High Flying Chris Hero. But I t the wife beat or whatever, this kid does a nice job. And uh, as you can tell by the interview, uh, nothing like what the persona of the name <laughs> indicates. <laughs> All right, Chris. Well, hey, man. Thanks okay. for me. And we appreciate Marty, you being on. Thanks a lot, Sean. I appreciate it. Not thanks a problem. Thanks for having me on the show. No problem. Right, talk buddy. to you later. Bye. Thanks a lot. And again, he's a great kid. Oh, no doubt about it. You know, I talk to him all the time. Talk to his mother. She's, uh, you know, proud of him because he's really, I mean, the kid's all over the country. Anywhere they'll put him on a wrestling show, uh, he's there. I've talked to him where they've traveled 12, 14, 16 hours, which is not uncommon for guys at this stage of their careers. Right. And not just Chris. A lot of the local talent does that. Uh, pretty much weekly around here just to get on shows. We know uh, Chris Russell's now, I think, four times a week just traveling to, you know, this show was in Wisconsin. He also travels to Indiana, West Virginia. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, you travel, and that's part of the, uh, paying your dues at this level. No doubt about it. Let's take a quick phone call. Let's go to the Love Man. He's got a question about the Heartbreak Kid. Love Man, how you doing? Just fine. I know everybody knows who this is, but me and my uh, friend and dog will be starting our own uh, Backyard Federation soon. Okay. Still in the making. Okay. But um, with my question, um, do you think that uh, Shawn Michaels, I know he's been having some things beef with the wrestlers, do you think he'll be wrestling soon? Will he be wrestling soon? Yeah. Um, you know, that's something hard to say. Shawn, of course, had surgery after uh, last year's WrestleMania and um, on his back, and a lot of people thought it was going to end his career. And um, now he's got the wrestling school down in San Antonio, and he's spending a lot of his time with that. But uh, I, he's going to be a little bit more active in the WWF, and uh, part of it you'll see tomorrow night on SmackDown. I don't want to ruin it for you. But, um, a lot of leagues said that he could potentially come back, and I think he would like to based upon his physical abilities. But right. you're going to see a lot more of HBK and in, in further his role uh, starting tomorrow night. Yeah, I got a lot of uh, people that really like him. Yeah. So, and I got a comment. Okay. Last week, there was a caller that said the WCW was a bunch of wheelchair wrestling old men. Yeah. And I know everybody knows what I'm talking me? about. Okay. And okay. I really didn't like that, and I there's a lot of people that listen to you guys that really didn't like that either. All right. Well, we're glad you're, you're sticking up for WCW, right? And uh, me and our dogs want to be at Montgomery County Fairgrounds September 4th. All right. All right, man. Love you man. Be there. Love man. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Because right. everybody knows who the love man is. Yes. Yes, they do. I don't know. Who he is. <laughs> <laughs> everybody knows. Everybody knows. Uh, you know. You, you, you introduced Oh, me. now it, we're, it's a whole <laughs> different story. We told you. <laughs> Two weeks in a row, Stidman's been releasing Wes D's number. We've talked a lot about Meany. We talked about uh, a lot of the guys that are on these weight reduction programs. d you know. Oh, d looks fantastic. Uh, Mark Henry has lost about 30 pounds. Almost all of them are going through a type of Thai bow or cardio kickboxing. And um, what's happening is we've been talking about Wes D's, who locally is the man who handles this. Uh, Wes has a program that he does right here near the Dayton Mall. And I, he gave me his number, and he said, Marty, do a poll once a week. If, if you want to give one person a free week or something like that, go ahead and let him come in and see what it's all about. Well, Stidman <laughs> gives his number out, and I told him, this guy is going to come in here and kill you if you keep giving his number out. What would you do earlier? I gave his number out. Yeah, right. I'm trying to build up the guy's business. <laughs> I'm working for you. 
And I'll tell you what, I'd like to introduce to you Wes Dees, and Wes is the owner of Dees Cardio Fit Kickboxing. Wes, glad to have you on the wrestling, guys. Glad to be here. You're not too upset, are you? I hope you have good health insurance. Uh oh. I told you, man, he'll put you on that. I may have to, I'm I think I'm, I may have to get out of here. I mean, I'll tell you what, Wes, we, we were talking about Blue Meanie. Uh, for the wrestling fans, uh, 50 pounds. We've seen him uh, long enough to get hit with a chair or something the other <laughs> night on SummerSlam. Yeah. But just looks uh, fantastic. Wes, we know your classes have just been astounding. you got people that have had massive uh, weight loss reduction. Not only that, conditioning uh, right. from what we hear. And I know that you're starting new classes, uh, Uber Heights area. We have a program going in, in World Gym in Uber Heights. And what we're finding is, is that... Uh, a lot of people were just bored with weightlifting and running a treadmill and, and watching somebody on a videotape in their living room and wanting to get out with real people and, and work out. And I guess I'm more like a, like a drill instructor and uh, keep you going. Well, and I think, I think it's important what you brought up there about getting out and doing it with other people because so many times you hear, you know, you go around to garage sales and you see so many of these equipments that, you know, are supposed to work miracles for you. And, you know, you order the videotapes or you buy the $200 machines and they just sit there in garage or whatever. And uh, with this, you know, you get to go out and you get to see other people and interact. And I think it helps motivate you uh, to do the program and to try and shape yourself into the body that you want. You're absolutely right. I think the, the big reason the wrestlers are kind of jumping on the, the bandwagon, you might say, is that you see results very, very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's intense cardio. It's a lot of plyometrics, jumping, punching, kicking. It's a lot of fun, uh, but you see results very quickly. Let me ask you a question. I, yeah, I, ratio, men, women, I mean, I know that uh, one of the things I noticed, which I think is great, is that you offer free daycare while you train. So, you know, a lot of times a mother doesn't have the availability to get a babysitter or something of that nature. You have a daycare that'll that'll help out right then, and I know. You can correct me if you're wrong. You offer classes for like there is there another six other than six p.m. <laughs> I think I don't know. Yeah, there is. <laughs> but I know you offer classes from uh, unbelievable times th throughout the day. Yeah, we offer classes early at six a.m. and as late as eight thirty uh, p.m. Wow. And the ratio of uh, student wise, of the, the guys are like this. It's about uh, nine to one. So nine <laughs> women to one man. It's ladies' uh, night at the hey, kickboxing club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, <laughs> here the guys will start coming in. But really, I think the the big thing there is that I've got I, mean, I have women in the program at this point that can drop and do 50 straight push-ups, and not many guys out there can do it. I don't think. And, uh, Marty can do it. Marty, can. we've witnessed Marty do it before. I've seen yeah, Marty do it. I've seen it, like <laughs> maybe 50 chin-ups with my remote control, but I don't know about anything else. Well, you know, we, we've talked about it a lot. I mean, uh, you know, Wes is as well known throughout the, not only the Dayton area, but nationally. Wes, t tell us a little bit. You were in Croatia here just recently? Just got back about three weeks ago from Croatia with the uh, U.S. Olympic Taekwondo team, which I was team manager for that uh, little journey. And uh, we secured one spot at this point for the Sydney Olympics next year. Uh, head for Miami in October for this, the last round of qualifications uh, for the Pan Am region to try to secure three more spots. So I spend a lot of time with Olympic athletes, uh, spend time with ultimate fighting people out in, out in California primarily. Uh, we have a boxing program, so we're dealing with some local uh, heavyweight boxers to compete. So a lot of things going on right now. That's unbelievable. Well, you know, the, the main thing is that when I know when you go to this class, and from what I've heard from people that have attended, um, it's fantastic. You also have another individual that works with you, helps with the classes, I guess. Mm -hmm. Is it sure. Gary or something? Yeah, Gary, Gary Hicks runs our uh, Uber Heights uh, school up that way. Right. And uh, we, we both enjoy having people kind of crawl out after class. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one thing that's great is about this about kickboxing is it's not just aerobics. You're not really dancing, and it's a much better cardiovascular exercise, or I should say, more fun cardiovascular exercise than walking on a treadmill or doing a stair stepper. It's it's more active. It's more fun. You, it's more physical, and I think that is part of the reason why this type of program has been really booming all across the country. Yeah, absolutely, I think you know Billy Blanks had the biggest uh, impact I think when he mainstreamed it uh, with his program. You don't need any equipment, which is why it sells and people are buying it, but it's ending up on the shelves with the aerobics tapes in most homes. Right. So when people come to our program, the biggest difference we have is every night you're going to get to hit something. So if you've had a bad day at work, <laughs> bring, bring your boss's photograph or you know, your, your broadcast partner's photograph, whoever it might be. There you there go. You go. Yeah, just take that to a heavy bag and start hitting. So it's, it's a lot of fun. All right. So that I don't get in trouble and so that <laughs> Stenham doesn't get in trouble and I keep him out of trouble for a week. What number do you call, man? And what are you going to give away to, if they call it so that none of us get in trouble and I exactly. don't have to worry? No, i, I got a here. daughter now. I can't get in trouble <laughs> anymore, man. Yeah, well, what we like to do is, uh, you know, the way we work is we want people to try the program first, make sure it's something they like to do. Um, and if people will call 937-478-5451, uh, 
Uh, leave a message on the voicemail there if you happen to miss me. Say you heard the show. And uh, we'll hook you up with a couple weeks free classes. Oh, now it's a couple weeks. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. He so. just said that all hell would have broke loose here <laughs> right. at the wrestling guys. <laughs> the I would have given away like six months or something. But, you know, <laughs> fine. You're the man. <laughs> two weeks? Two weeks? Yeah, I'll tell weeks. you what. Every, we've talked to a lot of people that have attended. Uh, you know, you want to go in. You don't know if this is going to work for you. Give it a try. Give Wes a call. That's his personal number. Uh, you get a lot of personal service with these things. It's 937 478 Five four five one, and you're on the World Wide Web. Absolutely. If you'll, uh, if you for coming on tonight. Thank you, guys. Giving I us the information. It. Hey, Bridget, once again, the number to call nine three seven four seven eight five four five one for a couple weeks. A couple weeks. You want to get in there? You want to see what happens? I'll uh, tell you what. What a great uh, is it? Aerobic workout? Is that it's, a bad description? It, uh, it's kind of a bad description, but it's it's full body. I guarantee. If you full if you body. come to the class. Uh, two days later, you'll be screaming my name. And Marty will be there 6 a.m. tomorrow. Yeah, right. I'll just let you know that. Marty will be bagels. waking his <laughs> wife up to go to work, and what Marty will do then, will be grabbing her pillow as she leaves. We got a lot of calls tonight. Wes, thanks a lot for coming on. <laughs> I think that was our thanks, first caller right there. <laughs> hey, look, check it out. I'm interested. Thanks. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to go to a break. When Alrighty. we come back, we've got the THQ trivia question of the week, and also we're going to reveal... we break it, man. We're going to reveal once again... we got to break it. ...how you can listen to us every single day. We're going to break it. And Joking. Yeah, would hey, you hey, 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 hey. Hey, you're listening to the wrestling guy as at Sean Stedham being put in a Croatian <laughs> chokehold on 1410 Wing AM. Uh-huh. Yeah. This is Dave Shower, and you're listening to the wrestling guy with Marty Adam and Sean Stedham on 1410 WING. Yes. Welcome back to the wrestling guys on Dayton's <laughs> first <laughs> Can you talk. Ten? I tell you what, I'm a little stiff there. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm okay the, now. The cardiovascular kickboxing is the game. Man. I, I, it's happening. I think we should go. You and I, team. I'll, I'll go if you go. You'll go if I go. We'll have to work this out. All right. If we go though, it has to. We have to announce it because somebody has to come to keep us motivated <laughs> <laughs> or to provide CPR. Yeah, or one the other. thing that happens that motivates us is if the uh, computer guys leave pizza here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the wrestling guys. I'm Sean Stidham, of course, along with Marty Adams and uh, Mike King on the line. We'll get to you in just a moment. Uh, and we teased a little bit earlier that now you can listen to the wrestling guys every single day and seven days a week 24 seven days hours a week a day. 24 hours a day whenever you want to hear our uh, the tones of our voice you'll be able to do so and the way we're going to do this is now with the wrestling guys hotline it's happening, man. It's happening. It's a free call locally, uh, area code 937-285-0991. And the purpose of this hotline is to keep you informed on wrestling news. We also have a section on there uh, with the Wrestling Guys calendar of events where you can call. Hit it, It's option two when you call them not to call the number, and you're going to be able to hear a full schedule of upcoming local wrestling events from UCW, the WWF, uh, WCW, the HWA. Whoever is running a show locally, uh, you're going to find out all the information, to where to call, when tickets go on sale, uh, what autograph have you. Autograph appearances. And then op- uh, autograph appearances. Well, you have an interest in that one. I don't know why. But uh, <laughs> option option one on the Wrestling Guys hotline is a daily news update. And, uh, and of course, when news breaks, we break in. That's it. I mean, if something happens and it's, it's that hot and we think that uh, it needs to be interjected, who knows? We'll have it on there. It could be two, three times a day. But we'll be updated daily in uh, Dayton. Uh, Cincinnati, uh, we don't care if you're in Springfield, uh, Piqua, uh, anywhere in the surrounding area, the Wrestling Guys Hotline is going to be the best in the area. And it's running right now at 285-0991. And also, if you've got a comment, question, insult, whatever you want to tell me and Marty, uh, there's also a section on there where you can leave a message. And uh, we, we really want to know what you think because we're going to have a lot of fun. We think this is going to be a great thing, and we hope you enjoy it too. So 285-0991. You can call it every single day as often as you want. And it's a free call locally. And, it's a wrestling guy's hotline, It's the wrestling man. guy's 24 hotline. 24-7, baby. We're here today for you. There we go. Let's go back to the phones and talk to Mike. Mike, welcome to the wrestling guys. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you? Hi, Mike. What's uh, happening? Not too bad. Uh, I had a question about uh, Ric Flair. Yeah. I heard um, a couple of rumors. One, that he was uh, injured. Uh-huh. And uh, another one, that he's having trouble again with uh, uh, Eric Bischoff. Both of those are true. Yeah. Um, Rumors get substantiated. It's, it's pretty well known that Ric Flair had a um, 
was involved in the plane crash back in like 1975, and since then he's wrestled with a bad back pretty much his entire career. Well, Ric Flair's not a young man anymore. He's 50 years old. Uh, the back has developed a lot of arthritis problems, and um, he's had some trouble with that. Combine that with the fact that the way he was used in WCW upon his return, uh, he felt was kind of embarrassing and degrading to a person of his stature and who has put that much into the company. And so um, he actually went in and requested to be, requested to be pulled off of uh, all television and pay-per-views because he didn't like the way he was being used, but he did agree to work house shows. Um, Eric Bischoff, in turn, books Ric Flair to job for a month to Goldberg, which means spear jackhammer every single night. So um, Ric Flair has not been involved in WCW. He says his back is too injured, but a lot of people feel that he's just sick and tired. He feels like a lot of these other guys, uh, and he could be one of those guys putting in his release. If Ric he Flair, doesn't like knows. the way he's been handled, and I don't blame him. The guy's a, a legend in WCW yeah. and, and in wrestling in general, and, and they're putting him through gimmicks that don't even make sense. I mean. And this is a guy who, over the last 10, 15 years, Anytime WCW's been in trouble, they've thrown the strap around his waist. And even at 50 years old, he still draws the highest quarter hours for Nitro anytime he's on. And you, you remember when he came back after his first bout of trouble with Eric Bischoff, the pop that he got and the response he got was tremendous. And they worked a, pr a wonderful program where he went him right back up and became the president and got the world title. And then they did the whole embarrassing thing with the mental hospital and his son. Yeah, and that was all it was stupid, <laughs> exactly. And, um, you know, it's just another way that, another example of how WCW mismanages some of its stars. Yeah. Well, Mike, thanks a lot for the call. Okay, thank you. All right, All right. thanks, Mike. Let's go to Kettering, and I think this question's for you, Marty. It's from uh -oh. Paul. Paul, welcome to the wrestling guys. Hey, guys, how are you doing? Good. Good Paul. Yeah, Marty, I was wondering, uh, who do you plan on uh, as a wrestler coming in on your store October 16th? <laughs> Ooh, man, how that one? We, uh, did I leak that last I week? I think you leaked that last week. I'll tell you what, we're looking at bringing in several people to the Miami Valley that day. Uh, we, if you listen to our hotline at 2850991, uh, you'll know that the WWF is scheduled to appear uh, at Nutter uh, that day at 5 o'clock. That's a Saturday. Uh, we're looking right now, we're negotiating with The Undertaker. Uh, we're also looking at bringing The Rock to our Cincinnati store. And uh, Kane is also in uh, Road Dogger being looked at. Now, as you know, we have a store in Piqua, Ohio. We have the Classic, where everybody normally goes for the autograph appearances here in Springboro, South Dayton. We also have a Cincinnati store, and so we're going to bring somebody in everywhere. Oh, okay. So it's going to be a full day, man. I mean, it's going to be a lot of fun. And this Friday night, um, I know a lot of you know Al. Al Snow's been in the area, but Al's coming down to our store at Northgate Mall, which is about 35 minutes from downtown Dayton. Not bad. Um, Al's coming in, and uh, did you watch the uh, MTV show that we've talked about? Yeah. Uh, rapid Fire, Rory. Rapid Delivery. Rapid Delivery, Rory Fox. Uh, him and Al Snow are appearing, signing free autographs tomorrow night from 6 to 8 o'clock at North Friday Gate Mall. Night. Friday night. Thank you very much. No problem. So, uh, you know, we're bringing them in. They're going to do a free autograph signing, and on the 16th, buddy, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> and as soon as we get contracts uh, signed, we're going to be announcing it. Okay, thanks. Hey, thank you. Bye. One nice thing i got to think about, you know, for your side of the business with this WWF run, you know, the key to bringing these guys in is their schedule. And on that Saturday, they're going to be in Dayton. On the Sunday, they're going to be in Cleveland. And Monday, they're going to be in Columbus. Pay-per-view, raw, it's all right. happening. So there, it looks like there's a lot of opportunities there where you might be able to bring in somebody possibly even Friday night and then Saturday and maybe even a Sunday morning appearance, uh, depending how their schedules work. And, you know, the thing is, on the pay-per-view days, they have to be there so early because just like we talked about with Al, with him going through the, the things of what he has to do for those types of shows, They'll probably, and I think that may be one of the reasons why they have a 5 o'clock show here Saturday, mm -hmm. is to get everybody moving towards Cleveland for the pay-per-view. Well, when we come back on the wrestling, guys... Break again? We're going to break again. We're going to talk to Brandon hey, and Wes Carrollton. Where is Mark DeJobber? Our producer, Mark DeJobber, was supposed to be here tonight. That We'll talk about that when we come back. Hey, you're you're letting us down. You're letting us down. The announcer on national television. God, I love saying that now. And you're listening to the wrestling guys with Marty Adams and Sean Stidham on 1410 WING. Oh, my God. Welcome back to the wrestling guys on Dayton's first 1410 WING. And Joey Styles will be the youngest announcer on national and television. And you sound like Walter Cronkite or something, man. And that's, that's the way it is. You like that? That's the way it is.
I was trying to get the Les Thatcher voice in. Ooh, yeah, you know, Les does have that gravelly voice, yeah, doesn't he? he? The, Les like, oh, this is Les Thatcher and Heartland Wrestling coming to the Coyotes. And <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Les. I really do. Uh, and by the way, Heartland tonight is in Coyotes. At, yeah. uh, if you want to run down there, where did... Yeah, it's 8 o'clock bell time, and I'll tell you what, that's a great place to go for wrestling if you want to take about a 45-minute drive. It's at 8 o'clock bell time, and tonight they are having uh, the six-man... Uh, one night single elimination tournament for their cruiserweight championship and uh, a lot of good guys on the That's show shark boy one of their uh, students has signed a wcw developmental contract and has moved to atlanta right so that takes you about uh 45 minutes to get down there so you could you know maybe you're on your way now thanks for listening but if you want to head down there you can still catch most of the show absolutely and coyote's pretty good place too right off the uh, i-75 so very very cool um, let's do this. THQ Trivia Question of the Week. Make week. it easy, will you? It's going to be a softball this week because we only got like 12 minutes. So, um, But what we're going to give away tonight is a collection of WWF foam fingers. It's the ones you see always out in the crowd. Any good ones? We've got Undertaker, Any Stone Cold ones. Steve Austin, and the DX fingers. Man, you could have a lot of fun with SummerSlam Couldn't with those you, though? babies. Couldn't <laughs> you, though? And, uh, of course, the THQ Trivia Question of the Week brought to you by THQ and Jack Specific. THQ makers of WrestleMania 2000 coming this November exclusively to the Nintendo 64 and Game Boy Color. And it's going to be one hot video game. Find out all the behind-the-scenes information at www.videogames.com. How easy should I make this question? Easy. Very easy? Yes. What was the main event at WrestleMania 15? Oh. That's it. All you got to do is tell us... Which two men wrestled in the main event for the WWF title, and these fine collection of foam fingers are yours. Okay. How's that? Hey, let's take some calls. We'll take some calls. 457-WING is the phone number, and when you call in with your comments or questions, give us your shot at who, uh, who, what the answer WrestleMania is. WrestleMania 15. WrestleMania 15, who was in the main event, and let's go first to Brandon. Brandon, welcome to the Wrestling Guys. Yeah, hi. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. First, I want to answer the trivia question. Go. What is the rock against... Uncle. There you go, Ray. Ray. Man, See, it was that so was easy. Softball. It was so easy. But, you know, we had all these guys in here tonight and ran out of time, so I had to make it easy. So, Brandon, so Brandon what are you going to do, man? Where are you going to put the third foam <laughs> finger? <laughs> I hang them up on my wall or something. Hey, there you go, man. They're cool. Hey, Brandon, after we get done, hang on the line of producers and get your information, okay? Yeah. All right. Now, you want to talk uh, to us about the uh, WWF, right? Yeah. What's up? I was wondering if they were doing that big Grimes guy, because they had him on a lot, attacking people. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been on in a while. I don't know. You know, I, just, I, I, I read where they're going to put him through another angle, and, and I didn't really get any substance to it. I'm sure we're going to see him again. The guy is supposed to be a great talent. And uh, but nothing concrete yet, so I'm sure we'll watch with you. And as soon as we hear something, listen to the Wrestling Guys Hotline at two eight five zero nine nine one for finding out what Vic Grimes is doing. Well, I get again. And one thing I heard though was um, Vic Grimes is also rumored to be part of the GTV angle, and I've actually heard now that angle may be dropped. Um, yeah. The angle was originally designed to be uh, used with Gold Dust. And then after uh, Dustin decided he wanted to leave, they talked about maybe Terry Reynolds, and even talked about maybe Terry Taylor and uh, Vic Grimes, and you know. So I don't know what Vic Grimes, uh, what his next step in the WWF is going to be. Okay. All right. And Mario, I was wondering if you're going to sell any WWF classic tapes at your store. You know, we've got some there now. We we've, we've just brought in some of the ones that they're carrying, and uh, we look to expand it. We probably got about eight different ones there now, though. Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks a lot for asking. Uh -huh. Hey, let me, let me interject before you go to another call here. Sure. Last week, we were talking about Goat Boy being back on and, you know, over at the 93Z. Right. And one of the things, we didn't even get out of here, and there were people calling <laughs> Goat Boy saying, the wrestling guys need to go to two hours, man. It's over too fast. You right. Know, you get a couple of interviews. I didn't get a chance to call in. Here's what we want you to do. Write the number down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. <laughs> call 297-5230 and tell them you want the wrestling guys to be on for two hours. That's Wing's number. Let Wing know about it. I don't care what number you call it, Wing, but let them know that the wrestling guys should be on more than one hour. Hey, there's too it's much. simple as that. The fastest 60 minutes of wrestling is over. We got oh, wait a, wait, wait, wait a minute. Producer says that's not the number. What is it then? 294-5858. Area what? code 937-294-5858. Okay, if you call that number... What's our producer's name? I don't even know. See, Mark the Jobber... Let, let me, let's back up a little okay, bit here. Yeah. Mark the Jobber is taking this week off. But he said he was going to be in the area. And we said, hey, if you want to come by, we'll let you get yeah, on the air. We tell everybody you, ex you respect our producers, and Mark the Jobber takes care of us. So By the way, Alan's our producer's name. Alan, so Alan you're doing Alan, a great job. Alan, show Alan respect. 
All the respect that you would, Mark DeJauer, show at Dallas. But Mark was going to show up tonight and get his shot at glory on the air. That's right. We were going to make him an re honorary wrestling guy. I mean, he night. already is, but yeah. really, put him behind the mic. Let him express himself. And see what his opinions about this great sport we love are. Yes. But no, he no-showed us tonight. That's odd. That's, I hope that's nothing bad. happened. Nothing I, I, bad. You know, this could be bad. But he is a firefighter, too. So, you know, maybe he's out fighting a fire. Well, let's hope everything's all right with the jobber. Jobber, if you're listening, we miss your jobs. We do. But Alan's taking over, man. Alan's he's doing, doing a great a good job. job. I mean, I don't know. Do we need job anymore? I don't know. But I don't what's know. that number? Uh, call Wing. 294. I don't care. Call Z. Call 92. <laughs> call the Wing numbers and tell them we want the wrestling guys for two hours. Hey, we'll start a petition. We'll do we whatever could. we have to do. We could. 294-5858. And again, we want to mention it again because it's our hotline. We want to plug it as much as we can. Uh, the new Wrestling Guys hotline, available seven days a week, 24 hours a day for the latest wrestling news. If you can't sleep at night and you need to hear the soothing voices <laughs> of the wrestling guys, call this number. 285-0991. Let's go back to the phones and talk to Andy. Welcome to the Wrestling Guys. Uh, yeah, I just wondered what you guys thought about uh, WCW getting... ECW's good wrestlers, so they've not really used them for anything. Well, if you uh, caught our news <coughs> update at the top of the hour, it uh, looks like a lot of those ECW guys may be coming back. Um, Eric Bischoff uh, basically told anybody that wanted their release they could get it, and it sounds like that Raven, Kidman, uh, Rey Mysterio Jr., and Conan are trying to take him up on the offer. Um, and now it looks like Eric's trying to put a little bit of a roadblock in there by saying that not only can they not go to the WWF, that they may not be able to go to ECW. And, um, you know, for these guys, you know, there's only there's three major promotions in this country, WCW, WWF, ECW, and um, so Eric's now trying to play a little bit of hardball, but, you know, Hack's been hurt, Sandman, so, you know, take that for what you will. Raven's just been horribly used. Um, Public Enemy, you know, they've kind of burnt every bridge they've ever had. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't know. You, you look at what they've done with the ECW talent, but just look at the talent overall. It's not just those guys being no. misused. It's really a problem with the storylines, and they see it, the wrestlers know it, and management knows it, and they know some changes And the thing, though, is the fans know it. I mean, let's back up for a little bit and think about what, four or five weeks ago when they brought in Scott Hudson to replace Tony Schiavone. OneWrestling.com ran a poll of who do you think should be the number one announcer on Nitro. Over 70, maybe even 80% of, the, of those polled said it should be uh, Scott Hudson. So what does WCW do after three weeks? We pull Scott Hudson out of there. It just doesn't make sense. They're, the people in charge of WCW are more interested in promoting their own agendas and getting over what themselves than promoting what is in the good of the company. Andy, I'll, I'll tell you what, the, the winner, probably ECW yeah. in, in the whole scheme of things. It's going to be interesting to see what ECW's ratings look like compared to Nitro because the way Nitro's going, on, ECW's ratings could start surpassing Nitro's. Yeah, I think uh, WCW's going to be a third company by the end of the year with uh, SmackDown and ECW. It, it could happen. It very well could happen. I, I hate to see that, honestly. I'm right. Not, but I'll tell you what, there, you know... Everybody can't be wrong. It's one of those deals where, you know, you argue with everybody in the family. You know, you're trying to hold your point, but everybody can't be wrong, and the large majority of people are saying the same things you're saying. And the other thing, too, is we don't want... I, I don't want to come on here and bash WCW. Yeah, right. I, I, really, I don't. I want to enjoy That's why Nitro. Andy called. Andy wanted to give you a chance to bash. I wanted to, I wanted to, enjoy, I want to enjoy Nitro like I enjoy Raw and like I enjoy ECW. I don't... You know, I'm not a masochist. I don't like being miserable when I watch wrestling, but unfortunately, when it comes to WCW, it's just not very interesting right now. Hey, Andy, we thank you for calling, buddy. All right. All righty. Give us a call at 457-WING, and we want to again thank everybody listening tonight on the World Wide Web at wingam.com, and uh, how a lot going on tonight. We've got Ooh. White Beater in here. Talk about that. we got Mr. D's. Uh, Mr. D's come in and Where, talk where, to Where's him? Mr. D's number? I'm going to give that out. Oh, man, where's you're that at? asking for it. Mr. D's number, if you want to get a free two weeks of cardio two kickboxing. Weeks, no. He said uh, it. We did He said it. We didn't, but it's D's cardio kickboxing, 937-478-478. Uh, 478-5451 or 513-748-1817. And as we mentioned earlier, now we have the Wrestling Guys hotline seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The number is 285-0991. Daily news update, the calendar of events, and uh, also... Hello. Also this Friday, Al Snow. Al uh, Snow. Rapid Delivery, Rory Fox, direct from MTV, coming back in town uh, just for this autograph appearance. Free autographs, Northgate Mall. Call Classic Cards if you uh, want some information on how to get there. 
But you can also call uh, Fans Choice of Northgate Mall at area code 513-923-9264. Come on down, see the head. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you'll see Pepper. No Pepper? I don't know. It's not fun if Pepper's not there. Didn't Pepper get... get uh, hey, 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 hey. Tell me, uh, we can't, hey, 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 we don't reveal stuff. Hey. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> UCW, September 4th, Montgomery County Fairgrounds. Two shows, 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Tickets are just $3 a show. Two great All the stars bargain. of UCW, Big Daddy Raj Cox, Atomic Rhino. High Flying Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Life beater. No, Willie F. Jack. Willie F. and the Syndicate, Filthy the Clown, the Giant Bobo, and so many more. We can get the information by calling UCW's number at 640-1921. Uh, and as we also mentioned earlier, WCW returns September 20th to Cincinnati for Monday Nitro. Tickets go on sale, I believe, this weekend. Uh, phone number is 513-562-4949. And everything that's on the hotline. Yeah. Okay, call the hotline for anything else. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh. I don't giving it all away right now. Go but, ahead. But two eight two eight five zero nine nine one is the new Wrestling Guys hotline number. Daily updates plus the uh, Wrestling Guys calendar of events, and you can find out everything you want to know in the world of professional wrestling. Everything. Just about. Hey, I love it, man. What's that number? <laughs> two eight five zero nine nine one. This is as bad as when you were plugging Classics website when we first started. You know? Classics <laughs> website, by the way, is www.ccc. Where's a hey, for you dot com. For you dot com. We're done. No it's way. Over again. We always run over, and now we got a new producer, and now he's cutting us short. I, you know, Alan, we, we thought you were our friend, but mm -hmm. Alan, what's the deal? We got to get the jobber back, man. <laughs> I don't know, but again, thanks for calling. Or, or thanks for listening to the wrestling Alan. guys. Hey, you've been listening to the wrestling guys at fourteen ten Wing AM. It's Sean Stedham and Marty Adams. Good night, Dayton. Or, of course, Classic Cards and Collectibles. And, Marty, do you know that number? I think I do. I think it's area code 513-743-1792. Tickets are $8 in advance, $10 at the door. And I'll tell you what, listen to the hotline. We're going to run some ticket specials on the hotline. The only way you're going to know about it is by listening to the hotline. 2850991. And something else about the Heartland Wrestling Association, they do kind of the same thing that uh, UCW does, is you're going to be able to get to meet these guys, too. Absolutely. You're going to have an opportunity to talk to them, shake their hand, get an autograph, get a picture. Uh, these are very personable guys. And uh, Les Thatcher will be there. You want to talk about going to wrestling school? You want to be a valet? You want to be a, a manager? Uh, you want to work as a wrestler? Les Thatcher's there to talk to about it. And... Uh-oh, the Celebrity Hotline is lit again. No. Who do we have? It looks like uh, Dr. Love has prompted some other callers from OCW. <laughs> and the kid, uh, Chris McGraw, is on the Celebrity Hotline. Kid, are you there? Yes, I am here. How are you doing, man? Hey, kid, you're on the wrestling, guys. Hey, thanks for having me on. You know what? I heard that idiot from the Wrecking Crew, the doctor of love, Stevie Hayes, on this, <laughs> on this station. I mean, what's up, what's up with that? Uh, Chris, do me a favor. You know, OCW, we're talking about them making their debut really this weekend. Uh, give us a little bit of background as far as who can we expect to see, um, some of the names, some of the, uh, you know, groups, affiliations. Tell us a little about, bit about it. Uh, let's see. The OCW is the up-and-coming best wrestling you're going to see in the Miami Valley. Uh, we've uh, teamed up with UCW. We've done training with those guys. Um, out at the show, you're going to see a lot of the OCW stars like Man Mountain, uh, Chief Cherokee Page, uh, Dynasty 2000, like you want to waste your time seeing those idiots. <laughs> uh, you got Five Star Greg is going to be there. Uh, a bunch of people, the Panther, the Wrecking Crew, who cares about them? But of course, the people that you want to come see is none other than the McGraw Boys. The and McGraw Boys, huh? That's it, the McGraw Boys, because we are the best tag team in the OCW, and uh, we have no competition. We just barrel through everybody during the training sessions, <laughs> and, well, there's just no competition out there for us. And of course, that show's going to happen again this Saturday in Yellow Springs. And it looks to be a hot time, and if you want more information about it, you can call the OCW hotline at 229-8189, right? I'll tell you what, we need to put a hotline on our hotline <laughs> for all the other hotlines. I think so. <laughs> hey, Chris, best of luck to you this weekend, and uh, you go out there and do the best you can. Yeah, and just run right through anybody that comes <laughs> after the McGraw boys, buddy. Hey, you know what? We're going to need no luck because the prettiest man in independent pro wrestling, that being me, and my tag team partner, Butch McGraw, are just going to run through the competition like we do best. And all you stupid Ohio fans, if you want to come out there and see us, come on out. Now, who are you taking on? You know what? 
the, the committee hasn't told us who we're going to take on, but I hear it's probably going to be those goofs, the wrecking crew. Okay. And you know what? If they want to get in the ring with us and they want to get their butts kicked, then that's perfectly fine with us because we really don't care who we go through. There you go. And talking about being pretty, I saw Sean Stedham's eyes light up, so I know what? he'll be there. What the you. hell are you talking about? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Please. Hey, buddy, good luck, man. You have a great time. We're looking forward to seeing OCW in action Saturday night, Yellow Springs, 630 bell time at the Bryan Community Center. You be there, and I know you're going to be there. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be there in full force. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Chris. Thanks for hey, calling. Thank you. What the right. heck was that comment about? <laughs> Do I look like Willie F.? No, I don't. Oh, my God, I don't believe you said that. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. We got time for another call. Let's talk to Adam from Dayton. Adam, you're on the wrestling We're guys. Find out Willie's not listening. Oh, if Willie's listening, you're gonna know it. Hey, what's up? Hey, Adam, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good. I was wondering if Scott Hall or Kevin Nash, what they're doing. Turn your radio down, man. All right. Okay. All right. I was wondering about Scott Hall and Kevin Nash, if they might come to the, back to the WWF, maybe be in DX with Shawn Michaels or something. No, they're under contract with WCW, and actually, they are getting ready to go over to uh, New Japan along with Harlem Heat and a talent exchange. And what we're hearing uh, may happen is that uh, the Outsiders will win the WCW tag team belts from Harlem Heat over in Japan, and that will be their uh, reasoning for being allowed back in WCW. Yeah, method free, for re-entering. If you remember, Kevin Nash uh, lost that retirement match. Yeah. Uh, and so they're going to do an angle where he's over in Japan. He won a WCW title, and because he's the champion, you will be allowed to defend it in WCW. Oh, all right. But they will be back. Billy the Monkey and Goons. Billy the Monkey? Billy the Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, he looks like a monkey. All, all right, right, Adam. I thanks, well, I'm sure he appreciates that. No, <laughs> he <laughs> thanks looks for the like shout a out. Thanks for calling the wrestling guys. You know, should, should I apologize for what I said about Willie F? No, because Willie F isn't that way. Willie F isn't that way, but you know, guns now. he's a friend. He is a friend. Oh boy, I'll Stay tell nice. you what, you do smooch him <laughs> real well, buddy. <laughs> Four five seven W I N G is the number. I'll tell you what, we got to come back. We got some late breaking news about the wrestling guys in the fastest sixty minutes in wrestling. Oh We've no, been, no, we're not going to break it Let's tonight. Wait. Let's wait. You want to? Well, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. All right. Hey, you're listening to the wrestling guys. That's and welcome back to the wrestling guys. You're listening to 1410 Wing AM. A lot of late breaking news, and we've been talking about uh, OCW, HWA. And one thing we have neglected to talk about, other than your bashing of Willie F, is UCW October 10th. It's going to uh, be a big show, 768 Union Hall. I believe the bell time is 4 o'clock. Yeah, afternoon show, great time to bring the families out. Church is over. Uh, you can get back home at night and relax. Uh, I know they had a great crowd and a great show, and, oh, wait a minute. The celebrity hotline is lit up again. Again? And I know you're, to change that number? you're hoping it's not Willie F., but, wait a minute, is this guy still wrestling? Willie F.'s a friend. Willie F.'s a friend. Wait a minute. I don't know if this guy is still wrestling. He's a celebrity. Well, I'm here. <laughs> big, big Daddy himself, Big Daddy Raj Cox. What's up, Marty? How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing great. You know, it's, you know, I've just been listening to the show. I try to catch in weekly. It's just I can't even go out and wrestle anymore, you know? Here's the question we've got. You own the damn federation. How can you get kicked out and not be able to wrestle? Well, you know, I mean, I, I don't, I don't own it solely. You know what I mean? I okay. mean, it's, it's made up of a committee of guys, and uh, you know, I started it. That's okay. basically how it is. I started it, but I okay. don't completely own it. So you know, I've been backstabbed. I've been this and I've been that. You know, but uh, I'm gonna make a comeback, and I'm gonna wait until everything clears out, and then something spectacular is gonna happen. So you are. Uh, by what you're saying, you're trying to find maybe a loophole to get back into the ring, right? There's always a loophole as long as you got a little money in your pocket. <laughs> Seems like in wrestling there's always loopholes. I don't there's understand always, this. There's <laughs> always loopholes. Um, but, of course, we're talking a big show, of course, October 10th, and obviously you're still one of the owners, so I know you want people to come out, so you'll get some money, right? Right. I mean, you know, I still get some money. I don't care what Willie does, but I'm going to get paid, you know what I mean? So I don't have to be there. I can sit at home on the couch and watch other wrestling. But you cannot be in the arena or in the ring, correct? I can't be there, but, um, you know, I, I'll, who says I don't show up in the park a lot or down the street and wait for cars to pull up and jump on people? Oh, ooh. Boy, that sounds like a threat. I mean, that time, could be. I mean, it's time to get real down and nasty. And, Marty, you know, I've been laid back for years, you know? <laughs> but now it's time for me to get maybe, I, I've even lost like 25 pounds, guys. 
Have you really? I've been working out, and uh, I got a, I got a few surprises for people when I start making my debut. Well, of course, uh, that show October 10th. It's going to be a great weekend of wrestling in 768 Union Hall, and I'm pretty sure the place is going to be rocking. And, and it, now, clarify one thing for me: Atomic Rhino is the champion once again, correct? Yeah, they stripped me. I mean, once I get fired, I can't defend a title, so that means the title goes along with it, which. Uh, Titles, you know, it, it comes in due time, and I fight hard for them, and, and so does every other professional wrestler, so I'm going to just wait for my time again. Roger, I don't want to I don't want to let anything out of the bag, and I'm not one for letting out rumors. All right. But I've heard a few rumors that when you come back, if you come back, yeah, it's going to be something huge. It's going to be... Are you, I mean... It's going to be so huge that I'm just... Uh, People jump off of buildings, people <laughs> jump through tables, and people just beat people down. And, and this guy is well-known throughout the whole nation, so um, I'm not going to break it right now, but if you, I, I told you who it was. Well, yeah. we don't. I, we're not disclosing anything. We're not going to say anything. But, no, uh, we're, just, we're saying that something could be really working on a, a big, huge Break you, yes. Matter of fact, two times because you know I'm going to Carolina this weekend with ECW, and uh, I'm going to cut some uh, um, promos and stuff with this person, and uh, make sure everybody watches every Friday at five o'clock on DATV and Media One, and you'll start seeing these promos, and you'll also hear them on the hotline. And Marty, I'm going to bring them by your store. Hey, oh. sounds good, man. And six four zero nine twenty one, the UCW hotline. Rod, we got to get a, uh, to a couple other things.